Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Dane. Uh, welcome in. I'm just here to share a little bit of, I guess, encouragement, something God's been putting on my heart. I uh, wanted to talk about a dream that I had and how it relates, but I'm speaking to target individuals on here, you know, people that are going through the gang stalking. And uh, if, you, if you've never been through it, you probably won't understand anything I'm saying. You probably think I'm crazy. But... Uh, yeah, you guys can check my other videos and, you know, I've been, uh, been through that process of being stalked and I feel like the way out is God. I mean, I know the way out is God, right? It's accepting Jesus into your life, into your heart and living for God and you will overcome, you will overcome the stalking. You overcome every plot, every plan, every scheme, every weapon that's formed against you, but it's going to take you. Uh, really humbling yourself and seeking God. So I want to share a dream that I had and how it relates. Because I believe God is in the process of, if you're going through this, God is shaking you and making you realize that um, your life before this happened is different now than uh, what you've come to know, right? And a lot of it is very confusing. It's scary. It's... Uh, it's angering, it's unnerving, all these things, right? But you know something something strange is going on. And so until you start looking at deeper things than, okay, this, this, and this is happening and staying in that state of like surface level fear and you have to start getting to why are these things happening? And that's that's what I kind of want to get at is I don't, I don't subscribe to the belief that this is like a flesh and blood conspiracy because anything that I've ever thought about in that uh, respect, you know, the government or any, any group wanting to do this to you, to spend money, to spend time and energy and ridiculous efforts just to, just to mess with you, it's like it makes no sense physically because if it's the government, they're just going to kill you, right? Government isn't, isn't into spending money, you know, they'll just kill you. So what I want to propose to you is it's, it's a spiritual, um, attack, you know, it's, and that's, that would explain a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of the reasons, all of them can be explained with, um, it being spiritual and yes, there's physical things that happen. I'm not saying it's like it doesn't manifest in the physical it does but the root of it is the spiritual so a spiritual problem needs a spiritual solution and i believe god is waking you up and showing you look something's not right here and i don't think you'll ever ever figure it out until you turn to god and i don't think it'll get better until you turn to god i know it, it never made sense it never uh started getting better until i submitted to god and started asking for wisdom from him so I'm going to give you a dream and then the interpretation that I got on my dream. So in this dream, uh, my ex at the time, right, she's she's calling me. Like my phone's ringing, but I'm busy doing my own thing. I'm like, okay, I'll, she, I knew she was coming over to pick me up. And I'm like, okay, she's calling me, but I'm busy. So I'm ignoring her calls, right? And this goes on for a little bit. And I don't notice how much she's calling but by the time, you know, a little while later, I'm done doing what I was doing and ready to talk to her. I look at my phone. I had 66 missed calls. I'm like, 66 calls? That's crazy. Like, why is she blowing me up so much? Like, so I'm thinking maybe she's here. I saw I go out front because she told me she was going to come pick me up. Right. So I go out there and she's not there. And so. I'm like, okay, let me call her. I, I try calling her, goes to voicemail, call her a couple more times. It's like, she's gone, you know? So I'm expecting her to be there when I'm ready, but she's not showing up. And I try to call her, she's not even answering my call, right? And so I woke up and I got some, like, some revelation on this dream. It's like, there's times where God is calling us and trying to say, hey, look, I have this for you. Hey, I'm here, right? Pick up the phone, you know? And that's just a, you know, symbolic of like establishing 
um, a line of communication, right? So the phone call that you're missing, you're missing the communication. And I believe this relates to you uh, going through going through what you're going through, right? And it's funny, there were 66 missed calls on my phone. Guess how many books are in the Bible? 66. So I knew that. That's something that stuck out to me. So that's kind of what I realized there was something more to this dream. And then I started getting revelation on it. So my encouragement to you is to pick up the phone while you still have a chance because there's not always going to be a chance to accept Jesus in your life. There's not always going to be a chance to accept God's line of communication to you, which is through his son, right? It says there's only one way to the father and that's through Christ, right? Through his shed blood. And so whether you're a believer or not, um, I encourage you to start looking at the stalking as spiritual. And you can go on and, 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 and be so sure that it's the government stuff, but here's the, here's the deal. These spirits that are working through people, this assignment in the spirit, they're going to tailor it to you for something you're going to believe. So anything physical that can get you to believe, they're going to manifest the reality to back that up. So if you think it's the government, they're going to let you see certain things that like a paper trail or like, like they're going to let you feel or think that you figured it out, right? Because then that keeps you on the surface and you can't fight this thing on the surface. You see, so you need to see God. Pick up the, pick up the phone while you still got the chance, right? So... I'm just going to end this in prayer. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for everything you've done in my life, God. I thank you for uh, the plans that you have for this person watching, God. I just ask that you would touch them uh, where they're at, God, that you would uh, draw them towards your love. You said if uh, we lift your name up, you will draw all men unto you. So, God, I'm here to, to say that you are the answer. You're the way, the truth, the life, God, and uh, you will give us wisdom to walk through what we're going through. Pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.